Let's learn about electricity with Kids Connect. Electricity is energy harnessed from the configuration or movement of electrons. The configuration of electrons can create static electricity, like when your hair stands up. The movement of electricity can be explained as power flowing through a circuit, like powering an appliance. Basically, electricity is a form of energy produced by the flow of electrons from one atom to another. This means that whenever a conductor connects a negatively charged body to a positively charged body, the excess electrons of the negative body flow to the positive body to create balance. Did you know that electricity occurs in nature? Lightning forms from a charge created from friction when millions of tiny ice particles collide with each other in the cloud. This friction creates charged particles, and when the charge becomes large enough, a lightning strike occurs. Lightning travels almost as fast as the speed of light, and the discharge of a lightning bolt can reach 30 million volts. That's about the same as two and a half million car batteries. Some animals are also able to generate electricity. These include the electric eel that emits electric shocks to stun prey, while fish like rays, sharks, and catfish can sense electrical signals in their surroundings. We mentioned static electricity before, and this happens when there's a buildup of electrons. Charges that are the same repel each other, while opposite charges attract each other. The friction created by rubbing your hair will cause negative charges to build up on each strand of hair. And because they repel each other, your hair strands will repel each other. When you rub a balloon against your clothes, it will become negatively charged. It sticks to the wall because the wall will have a more positive charge and so the objects will attract each other. Looking to space, a dangerous kind of electricity comes from our sun. Solar storms happen when the sun emits huge bursts of energy, called solar flares. Solar flares send massive streams of electrical charges and magnetic waves hurtling towards the Earth, which can disrupt satellites, electronic communication, and electrical devices. Luckily, our atmosphere protects us from many solar flares. In fact, you can see this happening with the northern and southern lights. How is energy generated? While electricity is abundant in nature, humans have not yet figured out how to harness all kinds, like lightning. But we've learned that through friction we can create static electricity, that certain chemical reactions can create electrical currents, and light from the sun can be converted into solar energy. We can also generate electricity by using heat to create pressurized steam that turns a turbine. We've also learned how to harness magnetism to generate electricity. This happens because electrons can move easily through copper. So if a magnet is moved quickly through a copper coil, the electrons will move and create electricity. If you liked what you learned here, visit Kids Connect for more facts and worksheets of over 3,000 topics.